All right, let's go ahead and head back. Yep. Uh oh. Oh no. What? We will meet again soon. Oh dang, that's my memories. Oh crap. Oh boy. Oh, hey, you. Didn't expect you to show up on this side. Huh, nice. Dang. And weird flashback. Hey, look at that. Called it. Yep. <laughs> oh boy. Oh snap. Did he... Oh son of a gun. He took it for himself! Ha! <coughs> oh, that's in a weird way smart but hilarious. I love it. Oh, dang. That looks familiar. Yep. Ooh. Oh. Chuf. Sauron knows we're here. Yeah, I would think so. Oh dang. Wait, what? Oh, son of a... Oh boy. I don't like that. Yeah, we'll just ride this in. We'll be good. Okay. At least they give me a Karagor. At least I think they do. I don't know. Okay, we'll go to a loading screen. We'll take it, I guess. <laughs> oh, dang. Are you serious? Nope, that's not the guy I wanted to hit. That's okay. Nope, still not. I'm doing bad at this. Oh, that was bad. That's okay. Ability point gained? Ooh. Yeah, let's do that. I got an ability point? Ooh. Yeah, I don't have these yet, which is kind of annoying. Because I would have really loved quick draw. Seriously. Do I want to save for it? No, I think I want to do this. Absorb a hit's pretty useful. It really is. What can I do here? I get extra arrows. Extra arrows is a good thing. All right. Oh hey, I've got more friends. Feel the true power of the Walker. Oh dang. First Talon of the Hand. Look at that flaming sword he's got. 
Yeah, okay, whatever. Oh, he hates Karagors. Good to know. Yeah, this works pretty well, actually. Just random... Okay, he doesn't like that. Oh boy, everyone's here. Dang it. That's okay. Oof. I'm getting hit pretty hard here. Get a good, good brand in. Dang it. Right, who's after me specifically? You are. And we'll take you. Oh, hey, you. You're almost dead. Just a bit. Huh, that's funny. And dead. Let's see if you've even got the guts to do me. Oh, I gotta do this thing. That was easy. Yep. Oh look, I had the, the guts to do it in. Okay. Nice. Fit town's dead. Oh, you? Oh, Fort Town's dead. Nice. Good job, minions. Really? God damn it. I'm okay. Really? Oh, you suck. All I'm trying to do is grab this thing right here. Thought there was a thing there. Yep, there is. God dang it. Okay, well he's dead anyways. He comes on a flurry kill. Oh, hey. Third town of the hand's gone. See, minions do really, really good work sometimes, right? Oh, we've killed them all, I guess. Cool. Let's go pick up all these cool things. Because <laughs> these runes are mine. 12% chance to recover an elf shot after firing your bow? That's kind of ridiculous. 30% on any shadow strike? Okay, more of that, which is good. With shadow and flame falling on the Black Gate. The hammer and the tar are dead. Sauron is still weak. Without and a head explosion? The Interesting. The ring or the ring maker, he cannot take form. Interesting. He will be trapped within Mordor. No more than an eye of flame bound to his dark tower. Isn't that the whole point? I can die. And none will avenge me. All right. All right, let's go do a thing. I think this is the end game. I'm just guessing. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the end game. There we go. I was like, where's the next ladder? I can't find it. There it is. Oh, come on. 
Ladders are the worst thing sometimes, you know? Trying to get the perspective right. Trying to figure out where the heck you are in terms of things. And here. Alright, we're going to let the uh, army through. I'm just wondering. Oh. What are you doing? I don't know. Scale on the wall. Oh, dang. Hey, look at that. It's him. The guy who cursed us. I have a gift for you. <laughs> hey, Adderman, how you doing? Ooh, a gift. Oh, nice. Uh oh. The, the gift is death. Crap. I was not worried about it. Oh, dang. <clears throat> Ooh. Yeah, you can do some... Yeah, being invisible on a battlefield is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> nice. Yep. Nice. Yep. And it willed itself to sort. Yeah. And now you are lost. Yep. his own hammer? Oh my god. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, Fractal, I agree. Jeez. I know, right? The Dark Lord gave you a second chance to stand by his side. Yep. Now I give you no choice. We shall be sealed together in death. So be it. What? Did not uh, uh. Oh dang. Oh crap. Oh frick. Oh frick. What? What fractal? Come on. Not right now. Really? Really? You're gonna do this right now? Really? Right now? Sorry about that, Fractal was going crazy and suddenly, like, what? Oh my god. Quick time event. Did not expect this. Do it. Got it. Whew. Come on. Whew. Okay. Did not expect this to happen. Oh my gosh. Of course, it had to be during the. Wait, was that it? No, that can't be it. Oh, hey. The Black Hand of Sauron is dead. Yay. Oh, yeah. This is no longer our battle. I tried fighting him. It can't be done. No, it really can't. <laughs> Fractal. Could you really Stop. rest? Fractal, come on. All of eternity. Knowing that you had the chance to stop him. But did nothing. Huh. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <clears throat> I 
Alright, so the Black Hand of Sauron is dead. And now it's just Sauron. And he's confined to the tower. For the oh, dear God. What? Oh, dang. Time has come for a new ring. Is that what the sequel's about? Shadow of War? Because that would be amazing. Oh, man. That would actually be awesome if that's what it is. That's really cool. That is Shadow of Mordor. That was an incredibly anticlimactic final boss, to be perfectly honest. I mean, I think I get it, because like we, you face wave after wave of enemies... But the problem is, like, if you just brand so many people, like, you just go, oh, yeah, branded everyone, which means I'm going to let them do most of the fighting kind of thing. You know what I mean? So it seems very anticlimactic just to have a... Just to have a, um, what is it? A, um, what the hell it is? Like, active time thing, you know? I forget what those are called. But, whew, that was a, that was a good game. The Nemesis system, holy crap, seriously. Oh my god, that Nemesis system, so good. And Fractal, why you gotta ruin the last fight like that? Honestly, jeez. Quick time event, that's what it's called, quick time. I'm, I don't think I'm happy with the quick time event being, like, that being the final boss. Like, I expected, like, part of a one-on-one -on -one battle and then go to quick time. I didn't expect just quick time, you know? So that part leaves a little to be desired, you know? The ending is... I don't know, I expected more. Like, yeah, there's this big battle, I guess, at the end where, you know, you go in and I guess you cut through swaths of enemies and then you fight, like, the, the five talons. And I get that. I don't know, maybe it's part of the difficulty, maybe? Because I didn't have it on not the hardest difficulty, but also not the easiest, so... I don't know. But dang, I'm... I'm happy with this. That was good. That was good. Wow, how many quality assurance analysts do you need? Okay, a lot of them, still. Crackle, come here. <laughs> ah, I love how there's only one person in administration, right? One finance manager, one financial analyst. Ah, and this is all the additional things. Because we need additional things. I'm guessing this is the people who were freelanced and or didn't have an actual job title. You know what I mean? I actually don't know, but like, you know, additional story. Additional engine engineering. Isn't engine engineering just engineering? Like, it's literally in the, you know, the name, but okay. Oh, man. But no, this is good. I actually like this a lot. That was great. Okay, so I can skip the credits, but that's, you know... I don't want to skip them. If I could fast forward them, I would, but I don't want to skip them. If that makes sense. Oh, man. Also, the music for this game. Oh. So good. So freaking good. See, you can hear it right now. There's that music. <laughs> and now Fractal's all tired out. Or not, she's really just chewing on a toy. Never mind, I was wrong. We have her this uh, giant stuffed animal that has a squeaker in it kind of thing. And it's like, it's about twice the size of her. So she was just laying on it. And then I realized, oh no, she's not laying on it. She's chewing on it while laying on it. So the digital dimension, is that like the dark dimension? Is Dr. Strange going to uh, help us out with that? I don't know. But yeah, I like this. I like the overall setting of this with the, um, what is it? I like the overall setting with the, you know, the, um, over the shoulder adventure style, which was nice. 
So that was actually a nice touch for that. The Nemesis system, where they procedurally generate bosses, that is insane. And the whole idea that you can send off, um, you know, you can start in-game events, you know, and get, um, like, you can start the riots, you can, like, you know, get, oh, hey, these guys are gonna duel, you know? These guys are gonna go after each other. It's incredibly smart. Spawn of Mordor. <laughs> That's amazing. That's great. I love that. Oh. Sorry, that's actually a really great spawn of Mordor. That's wonderful. <laughs> and now we gotta go to the actual people. Ugh. And by actual people, I mean the people who own the stuff. Quality assurance and publishing, because that's a thing. Seriously, this music, oh my gosh, so good. Adderman, if you're still here, have you played this before? Oh, Seattle Publishing, Team Shadow. Ooh. No, you haven't? Alright, gotcha. No, I'm thinking, um, I think it's going to be something in the future, uh, Shadow of War, which was the sequel. I kind of want to look into that. Um, I know it's going to be really cheap, you know, when I get it. Um, however, I don't own it, and I do have a couple games that are on my list of what to play next kind of thing. So, you know, we're going to wait a bit until that. Oh, man. But no, this is actually really good. I kind of want to know what Shadow of War is about, because I think if they continue the thing where he's going to go construct another One Ring, that would be insane. I think, you know? This was the whole idea of what I just did. I'm pretty sure about this, but, but I'm not entirely sure. It was the whole idea of what I just did and trap... Sauron in the uh, Tower of Mordor, basically, as the uh, Eye of Sauron. Because that seems kind of weird, because I'm trying to figure out where this is in the chronology, in the time history of the Lord of the Rings. And it's tricky kind of seeing it, like, how does it happen side by side with the events of Frodo and, you know, Aragorn and all that. It's kind of tricky. Obviously... Gollum is there, so it's in that sense. And with that, I believe it has to happen before uh, Two Towers. Because once Two Towers happens, Gollum is kind of with... Um, Gollum is with Frodo and Samwise. For pretty much the whole time. So I don't know. Yes, Fractal. Yes, how can I help you? That's a lot of credits, jeez. Manager, publisher, business, engineering, and IT. Manager, publisher, business, engineering, and IT. Consultant, publisher, business, engineering, and IT. That's a lot of managers for that, I guess. I don't know. Sales analyst. Legal. Ah, yes, legal. Absolutely. Gotta get legal in there, trust me. Gotta make sure you have the rights to all this stuff, seriously. Or else you don't get used, don't, don't, yeah, or else you don't get to use the IP, which is part of the big thing. Fractal, why, why are you chewing that cardboard box? And will you please stop chewing the cardboard box? Uh -huh. 
The stuffed animal now blocks the cardboard box. You can't... Okay, you get there anyways. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky Trash Fox, how you doing? <laughs> glad, glad you could join us for the uh, credits. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah. Wait, Wingnut Films? I didn't know they were uh, West Wing fans. Mm -hmm. Just in time, exactly! You're just in time for the end! Like, the literal, actual end. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Um, Yeah, we just beat this. So, yeah. Oh, sweet, we got the voices. Nice. Alistair Duncan as Caleb and Borg. Nice. <laughs> Orkwalla, Black Handed Nemesis Norks, Nemesis Orcs and Hollas, Nemesis Orcs, 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 and Combat Choreography, yes. Yeah, no, it's it's a really good game. I am disappointed with the final boss. I'm disappointed with the final boss, but But it is good. Um would you like me to tell you the end, or would you like to watch it on my YouTube? Would you like to, you know, whatever, but yeah. It's... The entire thing was actually good. Too easy? Um, the final... So, so the idea is you get to... You do all the stuff, you brand all the war chiefs, and you do all the things. You then show up, and you have to do, like... You have to do a weird stealth mission with stealth branding, which is fine, which is great. Then you go into a... You have your five war chiefs against five other enemy war chiefs, which are actually pretty powerful. But they also bring a horde, and you also bring your horde. So it was one of those things where you can, um... Oh, it's better. It's a timed stealth mission. So it's even better. Um... The problem is, you have your branded warriors, they have their warriors, and if you can do the, um, combat branding, it becomes way too easy. Um, the five war chiefs that I had to fight against, I think I only killed one of them, and that was after he was already down to like maybe a fifth of his health, and I randomly killed him. All of the other war chiefs just happened to die by my brand warriors, so that was easy. Then you go into the final boss and you fight Sauron, and guess how you fight Sauron? It's a quick time event. I think I hit six total buttons. And that was fairly disappointing. That the, when you fight Sauron, it's not a you try and fight him or you have to do some strategy and... Oh, what are we at here? Mordor and Flames. Success! You two black eyes are However, the Dark Lord Shadow remains. Hold on, by Tinja Hunt. The outcast. Oh, this is post-game. Gotcha. Post-game. Gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah, because now we're here and we we're now on the other side of this because we don't have... We only have... Oh, I don't even have anyone. Never mind. Yeah, I've got no one here. So, I could go ahead and try and, you know, brand all the war chiefs. I'm now on this side of things. So, yeah. That's a thing we can work with. So, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, this is just post-game stuff. Yep. Well, done, Captain to compel orcs to fight one another. That was the whole point of that. And we actually did reasonably well, I think. Let me go to the pause screen. Go to weapons and runes. We did... Oh yeah, we picked up this, which was on a flurry kill, which is actually really good to get that focus on that one. That's actually nice. We picked up this, which is recover focus on a shadow strike. That's nuts. Recover elf shot after firing. That's kind of crazy good. Over here, we picked up... Uh, oh yeah, we get uh, more oryx on a brutalize, and we cover health on a head explosion, because why not? So yeah, it's basically just keep playing, you know, and just keep going. So yeah, not too bad. All in all, really good game, amazing nemesis system. Like I cannot, I cannot overshadow that. Seriously, I cannot understate that. It is so good. Is it I can't understate it or I can't overstate it? I can't overstate that enough. It was such a good nemesis system. The whole, you know, they gain power, you gain power. No, it really is very cool. Overall... Really enjoyed the game. Very happy with it.